girl Ducky you back with another video and today y'all uh, oh my gosh I have been contemplating this for so long bruh and I'm just about to do it I am feeling what's the word anxious I'm feeling like you know what I'm saying I'm feeling like how I felt when I got my big job I was just ready to do it that's how I feel right now like I'm just ready to do it so y'all, I'm about to give myself a at-home diva cut. And I am just, look at my face, I can't stop smiling like the break. It's like no. But I am just so freaking like, I'm like, yeah. So I'm thinking about going for the so like it's fringe and fro, I think that's what it's called. So it's like bangs and like lift this up some. Because as you can see, my fro has fallen. I'll insert a picture of where my fro was the fro and how it's turned into this. Like it's this like um like pointy, like and then it's like round. Like you see what I'm saying? Not really what I'm looking for anymore. Like it's definitely grown down here but I'm at the point where like I need some volume I need something big it gets pretty big when I'm picking out and stuff which I'm going to do because this is only day two hair and I wanted to cut it on day three hair but I don't have time for that because I want the cut to be done by this weekend because I have plans so I am going to fluff it out and I'm going to bring this to the front some give myself some bangs oh my gosh I'm so freaking nervous and yeah so i'm really just about to get into it i've watched so many videos i've researched so many different cut shapes so many different styles so many different techniques as far as doing the diva cut and i'm just at the point where i'm just about to do it for myself because yeah so i'm gonna stretch my hair out some and I'm going to pick it, like I said, so I can get the volume that I usually wear it at and usually like to see it at. And then I'll be able to cut from there. But yeah, so we're just gonna start, I guess, bro. Like, oh, I have my shears. Do not cut your hair with regular scissors. Use some hair scissors. And I have my clips and my scrunchies and all that good stuff. My hair is completely dry. This is day two wash day with my Miss Jessie's Multicultural Curls. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it right here because it's up and it's lit, period. So I'm just about to start. And I feel like if I keep talking, I'm not gonna do it. So I'm just gonna do it. See what I'm saying? I'm gonna start with picking and fluffing. So like I said, I'm trying to get my hair to look how it would look on day three and day four because I don't have time to wait for it to get there because I want the cut like I said for this weekend so I'm trying to fluff it up and out as if it was day three day four hair and I'm gonna bring this to the front because I definitely am gonna give myself Oh, I'm so freaking scared, bruh. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna cut the bangs first so that they can be out of the way. Um, otherwise, the part is gonna be in my face and I'm not gonna be able to see what I'm doing really. So I'm just gonna bring all the hair that I want forward forward and like see I, see I got some shape but it's like wet dog like it's definitely giving very much wet dog <laughs> all right so like I said I'm gonna start with the bangs I really honestly can't see right now but I feel like this is enough hair up here And I'm gonna do it in a way that if I decide to wear a middle part, I still can. So I'm not gonna like go super scissor crazy. See how much bigger my hair got? It just got big for a 
so I'm about to go in for the kill. I'm, I don't know if I should take my glasses off or if I should. Y'all, I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh. Dear Lord, please let this come out right. Please let me look popping. And please protect my curls. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. That's it. It is what it is now. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. That blessed me. All right, so I'm gonna start in the middle. I also kind of feel like I'm going to have to recolor my hair after this because I'm definitely cutting my, this whole thing need cut right here. Oh! Because ah. I'm definitely cutting my tips, which is where most of the color is. So... A lot of the color is going to be cut off, but I think I'm going to go in and uh, bleach my tips again. Y'all, I'm so freaking nervous. But this is going to be cute though, but I'm definitely nervous. So like, I'm kind of, what I'm kind of going for is like this look. So it frames my face so that it's not like abrupt and then it like drops. It's going like around. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm kind of going for. Look at this curl, bro. Hold on. I don't want to cut that, but I'm going to. Oh, God. Y'all. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I'm really sitting here doing this right now. This is crazy. just a little bit shorter like because it, they're definitely coming over my glasses and i'm gonna have to cut them again my family don't know i'm cutting my hair so when they see me they're gonna be like i'm gonna be like i think i'm gonna um stop for now with the bang so that I can um, kind of see what it's looking like when I... Okay. I'm really not going to touch the back section because I don't really um, want the back to lose its length. Like I really want the back to stay how it is. So I'm not gonna touch that section that much. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna kind of go back there and dust. So basically just like pieces like this. Sir, why are you on my head? Like... Once I wash and restyle my hair, um, I'll be able to like touch up more pieces kind of give it go back and see what I missed you know this section right here I think is gonna be the section that's gonna be dumb short because that's the section that I am looking to lift so like little and then like this cut smaller because you can always take care away you can't add it back like once it's cut it's cut so like go small this side is definitely lifted some more
Um, full disclaimer, I am not a professional. So I'll just let that be known. If you're looking to try this at home, <laughs> don't do it because I said so, because I didn't. Yeah. It's still pretty long. Like, although I feel like I'm cutting a lot. section the uh the main events okay Miss mamas and papas like these jacked up ringlets look at this and i do realize it's because my hair has been chemically processed At this point, y'all, I'm just cutting. Like, if I feel like it needs cut, I'm cutting it. But like I said, a little at a time so you can watch the shape. Well, so I can watch the shape. Um, this ain't y'all tutorial, because I'm just documenting. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible when pulling the curls out because I don't want to disturb the curl pattern and then it becomes frizzy, and then it looks like more needs to be cut than actual. So, I'm trying to be very, very gentle. Oh! What they do? 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 But I want to make sure I'm doing the back justice. Let me see what these bangs is looking like. Oh, Miss Girl. I just want to take it up just a little bit, like just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm cutting perfectly good ringlets, but you know what? It's all goody in a hoodie. Yo, I can't wait to style this. Like. Oh my gosh. Your sis got bangs. I need to take. I don't want them to be even. So like you can see, I kind of have some long pieces. I don't want it to be even, but I do want that shape. My hair is starting to get a little frizzy, y'all. So it's probably not given what it's given in real life on camera. So, just bear with me, sweeties. I definitely need to bring this up some more, like.
see the difference. And I hope it's given on camera what it's given in real life because I feel like on camera it probably looks worse. And it just feels good, like my ends feel good. But this right here is not even good. color queen so like literally all I've cut off was a bunch of color and I'm about to show you this is my what I cut from my bangs right here this is what I cut from my head so it's not a whole lot it's all really just from the top of my head but like it's giving this mom looks it's really giving but I think I'm gonna wait to take more off because like I said um, I'm gonna see more because my ends are starting to frizz a little bit because I keep playing with it. But I'm gonna see more once I shower and I mean shower once I wash my hair and restyle it. So I think I'm gonna stop for now. If I could just get myself to stop, I'll stop. <laughs> But at this point, I'm kind of liking the way it's coming out. So like, I'm just playing with the shape a little bit. Y'all, I just, look at this. I ain't have to do all that. I did not have to do all that. Look at that. That's okay. I would have just cut like two inches of hair off my head for what? I don't know. I think I'm done for now. Um, I definitely think I've gotten some volume up in here. I definitely gave myself some bangs. So if you don't know, now you know. Forehead. The church is calling. Yo. Okay, guys. I feel like I'm really going to chill um, out right now because at this point, I think I'm just cutting for higher and higher and higher. And I'm getting there, but I don't want to cut too much and then I wash it and restyle and it's not the look that I'm going for even though it's pretty much gonna look like this I just want to play it on the safe side but I'm very much satisfied I'm very much pleased I hope y'all can see the difference between what I was looking like before and how I'm looking now it's very much lifted very much volumized um, I think it could get it, it definitely can be bigger it definitely can but I, I just want to cut this right here because very much in the way. stop because once I I'm gonna wash and restyle my hair and then I'm gonna be able to see you know if I need to go in and trim a little bit more but as of yet I really really like it um, it's definitely giving me the volume that I was looking for the volume that I needed because um, like I said my hair was looking like a wet mop so and I got my bangs you know what I'm saying I got bangs so I'm going to wash and restyle and then I'll probably post a picture on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me at curly.hair.journey. I'm really loving it. I hope it's giving y'all what it's giving me in real life. Because in real life, it's giving. Period. But that's it, y'all. Like I said, I'm not a professional. So if you do this based on what I did, that's going to be on, you know what I'm saying? That's completely on you. Like, you know? I went for the shape that I researched and like I said it was the fringe and fro and that's kind of what I gave myself and yeah comment and tell me if you guys like it comment and tell me if you guys is feeling it 
like I said, it's definitely, I think it looks different in person than it does on camera, but it's whatever. Cause I like it and I still have my length. But yeah, that's it for me, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Turn, off your no turn on your notification bell so you can be notified when I post. And stay tuned for more videos, especially hair videos, because my styling is going to be a little bit different because I do have this popping new cut that I'm styling now. So make sure you have those notification bells on. And go watch my other videos if you haven't watched them already. Definitely watch them and give those bad boys a thumbs up. Bye.